what is happening y'all welcome on back uh so just to save some time we took that on down made our way all the way over uh and we are currently over here so we need to make our way down to the gloom nest but there's like a little spot here that i never explored so we're just gonna see uh what this has in store real fast uh, this part i did explore what about down here for it no, I remember talking to this guy. This may be just a... Uh, oh, cool, I can yank those. Alright, so this is just another entrance to Gloom Nest. Not really feeling these fists so far. We got a hunt point though, so that's nice. Um, let me work my way over to that thing first, just to have that as a rest. We got a shortcut here that we cannot get. Oh, you know what? Nice. Feeling that would work. Right, so I, yeah, let me actually go back. Just because if I die, I'm going to go. Oh, no. All right, well. Um, wow, that is very delayed. Okay, that's that's very nice. Thank you, game. That's fantastic. Oh, whatever. From up here, we it's actually not that bad of a run. We can get this done kind of quick. Thankfully, I was hitting those things. Uh, as I as I traveled just so that if I did die it wasn't like a oh shit I'm going super far back situation we are gonna make our way back over there but oh you. Uh, so I just gotta keep going up. Much better respawn because I can just go straight down and make my way over to that zone. But we drop here. We just get the. Actually, no. Hey. Be faster to go. Drop right under that. When I do that, go around here. I remember coming down here, like, very briefly. So we're just going to go this way, and then we're in the zone we want. Or we're not. That just did... Oh, okay. We just had to break it open with him. No, we didn't. All right, so we can't even go that way. So I have to go via the path of the beacon.
Alright, let's go ahead and heal up. And we'll jump back down there and just, I guess, just keep going deeper and deeper. Until we find what it is that we're looking for. Still not sold on these fists. I mean, I, I think they'll they'll get me by until I find something that I like more. Wait, no. This will not. I need to go higher. I really wish I could do a, um, just like a mini map in the corner. I feel like that would be super useful. Because the layout of these zones is kind of confusing. So from spawn, can I? Oh no, that's one of those lava rock things that I can't interact with yet. So I got to go past the golden guy, past the statues, past the zergling. Ow. Ow. God damn, dude. So when we get to the Zergling, we drop down at the hands, and that is the, the path that we take. Oh, god damn it. Already lost way more. Can't really go that way. No, no, no. Ah, God. I'm not. This is this is a rough ass start. Those guys are there. They do a lot of damage for how slow they are. Okay. Uh, go past yellow. Go past the zergling. And then drop down at the hands. Well, at least I got that part down. Oh shit. Alright, that dive punch is really nice. Damn. Oh, God damn it. Okay, this place sucks the entire balls. Wow. I'm gonna need to go to... I need to go to a, a faster weapon here just to whack these things away.
should stop that. Okay, it's a whole slew of bullshit. There might be, I might be able to get a shortcut. Oh god, okay, even better than a shortcut. Absorb parry duration by 10%. Um, I'm usually pretty tight on parry timing, so I'm not that worried about that. It's like a big upgrade, Matt. Just a blood metal shard. Alright, well, if this is over here, now that we have checkpoint. Let's see where this path will lead. Shit, that's- Ow! You bitch! That's that jump from earlier. Mm. I'm gonna be honest, not- Not really enjoying the clone nest. If I can get back, so we're just gonna we're just gonna continue doing what we were and going this way. So that has opened that shortcut. I think these are just two different potential entrances to the Gloom Nest. That delayed attack, man. This is this is not I'm not doing good at all. Ah, okay. Um Well, so it's two different it's two different spots. Uh screw it, let's try from this spot, see if things get any better for us. I'll stag. I cannot throw those back. I can throw the blobbies back, though. I 
I think one of my best bets here might be the uh, the jumping that dash punch, basically dash punch, and then like and then roll after. Ah, so hoping I like bring that all the way. So I can use the I can use this in uh, hit and runs. But like it's just getting like single punches and then dipping out. That uh that stamina heal when you dodge and the enemy hits your after image, that's super useful. Definitely gonna level that up. No! Oh god. Oh. Oh, oh. I have come too close to getting this thing. Spit one more ball at me. Jaw stag down. Breath capacity. Ooh. Ooh. get that first and then I'll worry about the thing I can't reach. I do like that a lot. How like do you when you can't when you're not sure if you can find the beacon or whatever, you just have that slight glowing light that'll show you the way. And I'm not hundred percent, but I think this is the other path where I just died. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was that guy that I died to. So yeah, you could have basically come down here or come down from the other side. Either of those would have led you over to 
the stag thing that we just killed. If I'd come here first, I would have gotten the thing, but uh, in the grand scheme of things, whether or not I had that doesn't really matter. So with him dead, we continue... Big smash. Jumps back and punches. Onto your slam. New prey. Watch this shortcut there. Spikes there. Hang on, though. So we can't. Uh. Hang on. Is Gloomnest really just? Was it just standalone to come here and get the stag, and that's it? I mean, they, I'm supposed to be going over to to Feaster's Lair, but I couldn't do that. Actually, no. I don't know. Was that? I don't think that was a pull down stuff over there. That's part of Feaster's Lair, it looks like. But right there on the map, it looks like there's something that I can reach that I haven't. Like, right here. It's like there's... Like there's something there. There is. The Face Slasher. So I think that might be what the game was talking about when it said walls. That would that probably would have like trembled or something. Anyway, new weapon. Please tell me it's good. It is... That is Dex. Is that 15? 15 Dex for Charisma. So it's like... A super gnarly Dex Scythe. Man, I'm starting to think... If there's a respec, I'm probably going to uh, change up and go towards Dex. Because the Dex stuff that we are finding is like... Just, wow. Just completely badass compared to the strength thing, which, like, here's your one Zug Zug thing. I think this can connect. There's a whole nother... It's like a... This. I don't remember ever seeing this. Do I gotta break something open here? Oh, this guy. Uh, cool. So that's... That's a volcanic boost, so I can't go that way yet. I don't think I can go this way. Well, maybe I can go around. No, never mind. The up part had it, so we had a volcanic over there. And there's something over here, but either way, I can't, I can't, uh, continue. Oh, oh shit. Uh, I don't think I can continue that way either. That looks... I would need, like, a super mega dash to get over there. starting to look like the uh, gloom 
gloom whatever. Or not gloom nest, but um, feaster's lair. I think I found a feaster's lair entrance. Oh shit, yep, definitely something new. Oh shit. Oh god, <laughs> it just slapped the shit out of me, dude. Oh man. Alright, well, uh, we found what I believe is Beaster's Lair. It's pretty close to get to from this spawn, so uh, I think we just continue from here. We'll wrap things up, though, having knocked out the Gloom Nest, or at least what I assume is most of it. So, y'all stay tuned. We'll have more coming your way. I'll catch you then.